guys, welcome back to another great day of the Great Outdoorsman. Today we're just going to be going to uh, one of the pastors at a nearby church, Reform. And he has a little creek down by his house. We've seen some nice little panfish down there. We, we took part my crawfish trap, hoping that there might be some crawfish. And my I made a homemade little fishing bluegill rod. It's pretty simple, but we're gonna test it out and see if we can catch any of these little critters. You're behind the pastor's house of the church right over there, and he's mowed a little path down to the, this creek. It's pretty cool. Nice little panfish. And I'm pretty sure we can catch some stuff. This might take a little while, but. I'm ready. Hey guys, what is this? It looks like some animal. It might be a possum, might be a small raccoon, might be a groundhog, something. Never know. down there you might be able to see a little big puddle down there that's where we spotted some panfish catch out my little rod here and see if we can put ourselves on some we've already thrown the crawfish out you can see some of the fish going right next to it Zach you see it you see him Zach yep. And I'm just trying to get this hook on. I'm gonna put a little weight on there. Then we're gonna set this thing out with some bread. Most of the guys say it's white bread. I happen to not have any white bread. So I'm just gonna use wheat bread. Hopefully it works just as well. But. So we've seen lots of action around the trap. I'm pretty sure we might have caught a couple now. But now we're about ready. I'm gonna go climb up there on that rock. Get down so I can roll this thing out. And let's see. Stay on there, okay, there. They stole the bread. They were after that thing like crazy, y'all. While we had the camera off, he caught one. Definitely the jackpot. Get the bread container. Turn it off. That's one. So well. Nice. Get the bread from over there. They were attacking this little crazy. Such a big fight. Still got bread? Yeah, I still got bread. All right. I want that one. That's a nice size one too. Oh, they're biting it. Mm. Man, you can't. 
tell because of the camera, but they're swarming all over there. They really want that bread, don't they? Yes. I might have to go ask them and see if they have any old bread. They're running out. Before long, we'll check the trap, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna go put it back out. Alright. Bite. Bird fall off. Man, so close. And we need to get your other camera out here and take it underwater. Really show them biting it. Maybe in another video. So I want to go over there and try. Zach, we'll give you the bread. Alright. Getting a lot closer. We'll get another one. They were, they were about ready to take the leaf. The leaf? The leaf. You try a leaf? Yeah, try the leaf. Try one more cast, all right? And he was going for it. Fell off, didn't it? Oh. Pulled up. It's gone. I know. I just want to see the fish. Well, you can't tell, but one of the fish just gobbled up his bread right after it fell off. It's going to be a real tough. Watch. Right now we're going to try pulling in the trap. Still working at it. No more luck so far, but you never know. One more cast and we might call it a day. We pulled in the trap and there was one more fish we just dropped. That's three. Right before we end off this wonderful day of fishing, our cameraman's gonna take it a try on uh, the pole. Let's see how he does. Don't put it too low. Do you see the hook? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, guys, we caught four fish in total, and I think it's going to be calling it quits. And make sure to hit a big smash on that subscribe button, ring a notification, and don't forget, it would be very helpful if, if you make a big thumbs up, make sure it's blue, and we'll see you next time.